I've been making tennis videos for over 10 years now and I've been asked thousands of times what racket I use in my videos. And today I'm finally gonna reveal what these frames are as well as demo some brand new rackets and make a decision about what new racket I'm going to end up moving to. So I'm excited to announce that and move to a brand new set of rackets. But first, let's talk about these. These are Wilson Burn FST 95 square inch frames. And I've really enjoyed playing with them. The reason why I, I started using them about five or six years ago was because Wilson discontinued the 6-1 Pro Staff line of rackets, which was, I love those rackets. I used them in high school and college and after college, all the way up until they discontinued that line of, of rackets. And so this for me, after they discontinued the 6-1, just fit most cleanly into those specs and just felt the most familiar and at home for me. So that's why I started using them. But as I've started to train again and play matches, two things have become obvious to me. Number one, these are getting old <laughs> and it's get, getting harder and harder to find these rackets. And number two, it's become obvious to me that I would benefit from something a little bit easier to swing, a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit smaller grip size. So in this video, I'm going to move to a new racket. And the reason why I've been painting these all these years is because I've been kind of holding out for an, for an official partnership with a racket manufacturer. And as the channel has grown bigger and bigger, our videos reach more and more players, I just really wanted to have like an official relationship with a brand. And so that's finally happening today. And I'm about to demo live in this video a couple of new frames from them and actually make the decision about which one I'm going to start playing with and training with. So with that, let's get right into it. These are two rackets from Diadem. It's very possible you haven't heard of Diadem before. They just started in 2015. They're an American-based racket manufacturer. They also make strings and grips and tennis balls. And I actually first hit with Diadem rackets probably about three or four years ago. When Kevin and Megan were on staff here at Essential Tennis, we got really close to partnering with them and it just didn't quite work out. And I'm really excited to say now, uh, I, thanks to AJ, one of the co-founders at, at Diadem, we're officially partnering together. And so for the first time, I just had Mark string these up. I have not swung with either of these particular rackets, but one of these is the standard Elevate. We'll put the specs for that racket up on the screen. And this one is the Elevate Tour, which is just a little bit heavier and the balance is a little bit different. They're both lighter than the Wilson FST that I've been playing with. They're both a little bit bigger. They're a 98 square inch head size instead of a 95. They're both a little bit easier to swing. They both have a, a lighter swing weight and they're both a four and a half inch grip as opposed to my whole playing career, I've played with a, a four and five eighths grip with an overgrip. This is four and a half with an overgrip. So smaller grip, little bit bigger head, little bit lighter racket, little bit lighter swing weights. And so um, the, the Tour is a little bit heavier than the standard one and a little bit more weight in the handle in terms of the balance. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run through a warm up. I haven't hit any balls with either of these two rackets yet. I'm gonna see how they both feel. I'm gonna start with some ground strokes in the middle. I'm gonna do some ground strokes side to side and I'll, I'll test them both out with the same shots. Ground strokes, volleys and serves. That's kind of my mantra. When I'm trying out a new racket, which hasn't happened in quite a while, those are the three key you know, areas that I need to make sure it feels solid, feels comfortable, and it's gonna be an easy transition. So let's dive into it and hit some balls. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the, the Tour model. This is the one that's closest to what I've been swinging, and I'm just gonna start off with some easy balls down the middle. I literally haven't hit a ball yet today, so I'm gonna hit some easy forehands down the middle, some easy backhands down the middle, and then I'll switch over to the slightly lighter version of the Elevate. So first impressions, this feels really familiar to me. Uh, it, it has the same kind of stiffness in, uh, in a frame that I like. Uh, the weight and like the size and the maneuverability all feel really familiar. It's a little bit easier to swing than my FST, which, which I like. 
but it's not like a power racket. It's a it's a super you know solid. I like how it's weighted. I like how more the the weight is in the handle. That's generally what I'm personally looking for in uh, in a racket. Right about you know anywhere between 95 and 100 square inches. A solid weight, you know, definitely over 300 grams, and more of the weight in the the handle than the head, and not super flexy and uh, maneuverable. I don't want to feel a lot of pocketing and uh, a lot of softness. I like to be very, you know, stiff and kind of almost kind of board-like. Um, and I wouldn't say that this is board-like, but um, it's a nice solid racket. I think a lot of that. I, I know that they foam inject their their frames, and uh, maybe it's all in my head, but. I really like the sound and the, the solid feeling of the frame, for sure. So this to me is like, I started with this because I knew it was kind of, it was more or less going to be in my wheelhouse. So now, uh, with the same easy ball and the same strings in both rackets, the same grip, slightly lighter one, I'm curious what these easy balls are going to feel like uh, when I switch over. So this is really interesting uh, to me. It has all the same kind of solid properties as the Tour, but it's just a little bit easier to maneuver around. Um, just just a, that little bit uh, of lightness makes it a little bit easier to accelerate the racket head through contact. That's like, there's part of that that's tempting to me, but um, when I get up to the net and I start hitting volleys, that's gonna be really crucial. And part of this as well, like because of the extra maneuverability, there, there's like a part of me that doesn't want to be able to move the racket around, you know, that much easier. Just because I, I feel like it tends to lead to a little bit more slop sometimes, uh, a little bit more sloppiness for, for me personally. But it's it's still like very solid. Like it feels like the, the cousin or like the slightly s smaller brother to the, to the tour, uh, which makes it really intriguing and really kind of tempting for me. So uh, we'll keep going through here. I'm gonna switch to uh, some movement now. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dial in a harder ball, kind of a, a more uh, normal, kind of competitive type ball now that I'm warmed up. And I'm gonna move back and forth between forehand and backhand, and I'm gonna switch back to the tour and, and begin with that. So I feel like it's gonna be tough for the for the lighter version to uh, to win out here. Um, that that just felt really good. Uh, I'm feeling just really at home with this racket right away. Now that I'm receiving more pace, I'm starting to feel a little more of the flex that is in the frame, and I would say it's kind of just on the edge for me. If it was much more flexible, I wouldn't be a fan. Um, I definitely feel the flex more than the the BLX. Uh, the BLX just kind of feels like a two by four. Uh, to me, and this has a little bit more, and frankly, that would probably be a good thing for me. You know, uh, just getting older, uh, uh, it's a little bit more extra maneuverability, a little bit, you know, bigger racket head, a little bit smaller grip, a little bit more flex, would probably all be a good thing for me. So, uh, honestly, that felt really comfortable to me, but now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the lighter version, and uh, I'm really curious to see how I feel about it. Uh, a little bit more real life scenario. So it's a lot more similar feeling than I would have expected, to be honest. I was expecting to feel a really significant difference in like maneuverability and just how easy it is to accelerate through the, the ball. And therefore, I expected this to just kind of feel like a much more powerful racket. 
and it's just, it's very, very similar. I definitely feel the difference, but it's not as big as I was expecting. And so that has me intrigued about the lighter one because I feel like uh, for me, just my play style and my build, uh, you know, just where I am with my game, I feel like the little bit lighter racket, if it can feel just as solid as the slightly heavier one, I feel like could be really beneficial for me. But all we've hit so far is ground strokes, so we're gonna go up to the net now, and that's where I'm really happy with both of them. I, I feel like I could play really well with either from the baseline. I haven't hit serves yet, have, haven't hit volleys yet. So I'm gonna grab the tour and we'll go up to the net. I'm really, really happy with how the Tour feels. To be honest, it might be a better feeling volley racket than the, the Burn 95, which, which I loved around the net. Um, it's a super clean, very like precise feeling, um, very stable feeling, uh, very little wobble, um, and just the right amount of flex for me uh, up there. Very crisp, uh, clean feeling uh, racket on the volleys. I'm tempted to think that there's no way the the normal Elevate is gonna feel as good just because of the slightly less uh, mass uh, behind it. But after, I was really surprised on the baseline, so I'm really curious to see what this feels like. And I'll, I'll withhold uh, judgment till I feel it uh, come off the racket here. Okay, so it's still really good, but I, uh, my instinct was correct. Um, I could go eat totally either way on the baseline. At the net, I definitely prefer the little bit extra weight uh, from the Tour. This is still really solid. For a racket under 11 ounces, uh, to feel this like, comfortable for me at the net is really, really excellent. So I'm sure I could still play well with this racket at the net, but maybe it's just, just kind of habit. Maybe it's just kind of more what I'm used to. Uh, with the heavier kind of pro staff style of uh, rackets. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, do a little bit of transition volley and overhead. And then after that, I'll do some serves. So uh, I'm going to change up the drill with the ball machine. I'll grab the tour and I'll start off with that one on the next drill. So, yeah, it just kind of feels like an old friend to me, the, the Tour. Uh, it's just right in the wheelhouse of what I'm used to. Just slightly more maneuverable, a little bit easier to move around, but super solid. Uh, really impressed with it around the net. So, I'll run through the, the normal Elevate, go through that same drill, and uh, see if that same kind of feeling of wishing I had a little bit more weight is still there. I'm guessing that'll be the case, but I just want to give both rackets uh, an even chance. So the, the movement and the overhead drill Actually, it, I mean, it all, it felt good with the, the regular Elevate. I, I give the edge to the Elevate Tour around the net, but I could totally, if all I got sent was the, the normal Elevate, 
I'd be totally happy uh, playing with that racket. In fact, I'm getting ready to hit some serves and I'm betting that I'm probably gonna like serving better with the, the normal Elevate, which is gonna make it really awkward because it's like coin flip on the baseline, edge to the tour at the net. And I'm guessing, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself too much, but I'm guessing I'm gonna give the edge to the normal Elevate on the serve just to have that extra maneuverability and ability to snap the racket a little bit more with a slightly lighter uh, frame. But uh, I'm gonna warm up with the tour because I've been starting with the tour the whole time. So uh, I'll warm up with the tour, uh, get up to full speed, uh, hit some on the do side and the add side, and then I'll talk a little bit about it before I go to the normal elevate. So this is the first time that the tour has, has just felt a little bit clunky and a little bit heavy. It's a little bit lighter than the racket I've been playing with, uh, five grams. And to be honest, like in fairness, my serve rhythm has just been all over the place the last couple of training sessions. And so it might just be, just my rhythm is, it's just been off in general, going outside, coming back in here, at a terrible day outside, my league match, a terrible day serving. Uh, and so, yeah, um, it, it doesn't feel bad, but it's kind of, I'm a little surprised it doesn't feel more maneuverable than it does relative to, to what I'm used to. So, so now I'm, I'm really uh, feeling confident in my call before. I'm guessing the regular Elevate is gonna feel nice and uh, kind of more in the sweet spot in terms of uh, maneuverability. But but who knows? Let's let's find out. Yeah, man, this is not a clear decision to me at all. So the, the normal Elevate, for sure, it was more maneuverable, uh, especially the first couple swings. I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Uh, but then in the end, I would say on average, it ended up feeling kind of in the same you know, ballpark. It's, it still feels like a, a pro staff you know, kind of racket. Um, but I would definitely give on the serve, the edge to the normal Elevate. On the volleys, I give the edge to the Elevate Tour for, for me personally. And on the baseline, uh, Jerry's still out for me. So uh, my instinct is, man, oh man. In terms of like immediate comfort, my instinct is to take the, the Tour, especially if I'm gonna be playing doubles, which I, which I am. I'm gonna be playing that mixed uh, doubles tournament uh, coming up next weekend. I'm training for that this weekend with my partner, which you're gonna see soon. And so as far as like out of the gate, I think I'm gonna go with the Tour. In terms of long-term, you know, like benefit for my game, I feel like maybe the normal ele Elevate would be the better choice. But as far as being as comfortable as possible, as fast as possible right now, I really, I really like the Tour a lot. Big shout out to, to Diadem for partnering with us. If you go to diademsports.com and you order anything besides, I think demos and tennis balls, it doesn't apply to, they're offering a 15% discount for essential tennis viewers. So you should 100% take, take advantage of that. Grips, strings, rackets, all you have to do is use the coupon code ESSENTIAL15 when you check out and you get 15% off. Uh, a small chunk of that also comes back to help support essential tennis. So our goal with this, I just wanna be super transparent with it, is to just have it be a win all around. You get a great discount on really fantastic tennis equipment. Uh, it obviously helps Diadem when we feature their products and it helps their visibility and hopefully it leads to some sales for, for Diadem. And hoping to make it a big win for viewers of Essential Tennis as well. Oh, uh, when you use Essential 15 and when you check out, you're gonna get 15% off your, your order. 
But if you shoot me an email to ian at essentialtennis.com, this was a screen grab of your order, then I'll hook you up with any program you want from Essential Tennis, any of our digital online training programs. It's up to a $400 value. So you can go pick up two, you know, two uh, new diadem rackets, get 15% uh, off, get a $400 program, basically break even. So uh, I'm just trying to make it a win all around. So I, I hope you go support Diadem because they're supporting me and I'm trying hard to support all of you watching. So we're just trying to make it a win-win all around. So a big thank you to Diadem. I think I'm gonna start off with the tour for now. We'll see how it goes. And uh, go take a look at their, their rackets and let me know which of the rackets would you like me to play test and uh, review. These are the only ones I have right now, but um, I'd be more than happy to go through and give my thoughts on their other, the, the whole rest of their line. Eventually I'm gonna have all their rackets here. So let me know in the comments down below, which of their rackets do you want me to play test and, and kind of walk through and tell you how I feel about it. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this uh, reveal of uh, the racket I'm gonna be using. Big shout out to uh, Diadem. Thank you all for your support, appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.